Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at 25 inventions that were invented in the 7th largest country in the world, India. Land is well known for its wonders, festivals, religious cultures, and many other fascinating things. So let us begin without any further ado. Coming up at number 25, we have Water on Moon. On November 14, 2008, the first valid proof of water on moon was discovered by Chandra's altitudinal composition, better known as Chase device, that was mounted on Chandrayaan-1. It is to be noted that this was India's first moon mission. Coming up at number 24, we have diamond mining. The earliest diamond mining was done in 4th century BC, India. Until 18th century, India was the only source of diamonds in the world. After that, a small deposit of diamond ores were discovered in Brazil in the year 1725. At number 23, we have cataract surgery. Evidence of first ever cataract surgery performed can date back to 6th century BC India. Sushruta, a physician and a surgeon, had described its procedures in Compidium of Sushruta which was later introduced to other parts of the world. Coming up at number 22, we have cotton cultivation. Evidence of cotton cultivation for the first time can date back to 6000 BCE in the Indus Valley Civilization. And later on, it began in the Nile River Civilization. At number 21, we have shampoo. Did you know the word shampoo is derived from the Hindu word champu? Not what you guys know about. It actually means to massage or knead. Shampoo was first mentioned when Greek historian Strabo wrote about India's practice of using shampoo in 4th century BC. At number 20, we have binary code. In the early 2nd century BC, an Indian scholar named Pingala had developed the first ever binary system in the form of short and long syllables to describe the patterns of rhythm, also known as prosody, making it similar to Morse code. At number 19, we have plastic surgery. The first person to document plastic surgery was an Indian physician and surgeon, Sushruta, in early 6th century BC. He documented an operation of open rhinoplasty in his book, Compedience of Sushruta. At number 18, we have Periodicity of Comets. By 6th century BC, Indian astronomers believed comets are celestial bodies that reappeared periodically. This view expressed in 6th century by astronomers Varahamira and Badravaho. A 10th century astronomer Bhattopla listed the names and estimated times of certain comets, but those figures were not accurate. At number 17, we have sugar refinement. Sugarcane was originally from tropical Asia and Southeast Asia. The process of producing crystallized sugar from sugarcane was discovered during the Gupta Empire in India. Earliest reference of candied sugar comes from India. The process of refinement was taken to China by traveling Buddhist monks. At number 16, we have metal manufacturing. The practice of metal manufacturing started in 1800 BCE in India. First ever metal deposits were found in archaeological sites such as Malhar, Dadur, Tila in states of Uttar Pradesh. By 13th century BCE, iron melting was practiced on large scale in India. At number 15, we have Mysorean rockets. These were the first iron-cased rockets successfully deployed for military use. 
These rockets were used against the British East India Company by Mysorean army under Hyder Ali and his son Tipu Sultan during the 1780s and 1790s. This technology was later taken by the British to advance European rocketry. At number 14, we have gravity. The world believes that Newton was the first to discover gravitational concepts. You'll be surprised to know that the theory of gravitation was created 1200 years before Newton by an Indian mathematician, Bhaskaracharya. He was one of the most prominent astronomers and mathematicians of the 12th century. The theory of gravitation was proposed in his book Siddhartha Shiromani. At number 13 we have prayer flags. Legends describe the origin of prayer flags to Gautam Buddha, whose prayers were written on the flags. This information was carried to Tibet by 800 CE. The Indian monk Atisha introduced Indian practice of printing on cloth which was taken to Tibet and Nepal. Actual flags were introduced no later than 1040 CE where they were further modified. At number 12 we have Earth's orbit. The Hindu cosmological time cycle was explained by Surya Siddhanta at 600 CE and gave the average length of the sidereal year. The length of Earth's revolution around the sun as 365.2563627 days which differs by 1.4 seconds from the modern value that remained the most accurate estimate for around thousands of years. At number 11 we have USB. Ajay V Bhatt, an Indian American architect who designed and developed several technologies including universal serial bus in year 1999 he was intel's chief system technologist around that time at number 10 we have radio wireless communication in the year 1895 jagdish chandra bose invented a radio wave transmitter which was later on used by marconi to make the world's first radio It was Jagdish Chandra Bose who actually demonstrated the science of capturing radio waves. At number 9 we have hookah. Tobacco was brought to India by Portuguese Jesus and the water pipe was invented by Abul Fath Jilani, a Persian physician in the court of Akbar in the Indian city of Fatehpur during Mughal India. And combining the two hookah was invented. At number 8 we have Hotmail. Jack Smith came with the idea of anonymous web-based email. And he and Sabir Bhatia had launched Hotmail in 1996. The very next year Bhatia sold Hotmail to Microsoft for a whopping 400 million dollars. Now it has renamed itself to outlook.com and serves as Microsoft's email service. Coming up at number 7 we have trigonometric functions. The trigonometric functions sine and versine originated in Indian astronomy. They were described in detail by Aryabhatta in the late 5th century. Later in the 6th century astronomer Varaha Meera described a few basic trigonometric formula. At number 6 we have snakes and ladders this game was invented in the 13th century by gyandev and the game's name was mokshbat in the game the ladders represented all the good deeds and virtues you have done in your lifetime while the snakes represented the sins all good deeds ultimately led the person to heaven while the bad deeds lead to the cycle of rebirths at number 5 we have chess The history of chess goes back almost 1500 years in the 6th century AD. Back then it was called Chaturanga. The game spread across by the Persians, but the origins of the game was in northern India during the Gupta Empire. At number 4 we have Ludo. 
The game Ludo is derived from the Indian game Pachisi, which was created in India during the 6th century. Earliest evidence of the game's evolution is depicted in the caves of Ellora. The contemporary version was played by the Mughal emperors. Pachisi was later modified to use a cubic dice and was patented as Ludo in England in 1896. At number 3 we have Yoga. The origins of yoga can date back 5000 years in the Indus Saraswati civilization in North India. Yoga was refined and developed by the Brahmins and Rishis and they documented their practices. In the late 1800s, yoga started gaining attention in the West. Swami Vivekananda wowed the attention with his lectures on yoga. At number 2, we have Ayurveda. The practice of performing first Ayurvedic medicines dates back to around 5000 years old. It is believed that Lord Parshuram bought Brahmins to Kerala and distributed eight branches of Ayurveda to the eight families known as Ashtavedyas. The first person to document Ayurvedic practice was Charaka in 300 BC. And finally at number 1 we have the spinning wheel. According to scholars such as C Wayne Smith and J Tom Cotter, spinning wheel was invented around 500 to 1080 during the Indus Valley civilization.